Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. We are witnessing how I'm trying to beat the game with only two soldiers permission and so far it is a pretty mixed run. Some things went well, some clearly didn't. Uh, we find ourselves in month number seven with me fucking up to uh, to record on time so this is uh, the start of the mission it's a rescue the vip mission and magister plus technically roby but unfortunately roby is still in the sick base so data is going to be the second um, uh, soldier here are going to try to go through the mission the mission is extremely important because we don't want to lose eastern africa yeah it's a very difficult mission and our target is uh, ahead on a long road so let's play this safe and go for full cover for now we immediately spot out a pack that's of course not what i was expecting we are looking at two uh, full hit point uh, targets uh, that's almost 50 hit points for armor here uh, that's not good and wait a second there was another pack just behind here. All right. Let's try to make sure we are indeed going to. Uh, we can't reach. We can't reach um, him to break the Overwatch. Well. In which case, I suppose we are going for the Archon. Nice little 7 damage, that's a good start. We do have uh, lightning hands, luckily. To maybe break the overwatch. Good job, that worked out well. And now let's stick in half cover. And see if we can kill the Archon. We are parrying. And Bladestorm almost takes him down. Yep, down to 3 HP. This is going to be a parry. Now, the question of the day is going to be, is he going to use uh, rockets? If so, then we're going to be immune because we do have the nice Psy ability Fortress. Fortress is just such a great ability. Nice, he just killed his friend. That's even better. Alright, pretty good. Ah, shit. Got a Sun Lancer. And a Priest. But we definitely need to take care of the mech first. Let's move here. And we're starting to shred him. That's good so far. I like it. We're moving here, that should be a kill. Ah, almost. Not quite yet. So, Bladestorm will take it to 1 HP. Unfortunately, we didn't do uh, maximum hit point damage. This is going to be another pair of rockets, which has been parried. But now the Stun Lancer will take a hit. And that's unfortunate. It can hurt quite a bit. The explosions really don't mean much. Holy Warrior, however, does. Not only are we not going to kill it, we barely take away the shield. And... Yep, he's dealing a lot of damage, gosh. The explosion took him down just a bit.
Let's heal up as much as we can. The correct play here is going to be to charge in and hit this guy. Because we're going to kill two for the price of one. What I fear is that somehow I'm going to trigger more enemies. And that would suck so much. Okay, not only more enemies, I, it, it feels I triggered the entire neighborhood. That's a pack of four. And I saw another sectoid here. Alright, we're going to parry. Have you make us down? Another holy warrior, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Slowly but surely chipping the um, the stun lancers down. That's good. Come on, use your grenades, rockets here. Love it. That's good because we're immune. It was from the side. Did we just pull another pack? Because of line of sight? Oh, how unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Two vipers on top of it. We got him into sustenance. And we finally killed the other stun lancer. Well, so far it's okay. I mean, we're in the middle of the fray. But we're doing reasonably well. I have to wonder if now is the right time to actually Accessing system. do something. Disorient everyone for two rounds. Hmm. Two third, so two, two for one chance to get an enemy, which I think we can use right now. Hopefully we're not triggering yet another pack. Okay, we're slowly but surely moving in. We got ourselves another purifier now. Which is good. He's standing right there. I fear if we're going in further, this might end pretty bad for us. There was another mutant. I don't want to go here.
This here might be the right play. The mech is the most dangerous enemy so far. And instead of parrying, we might go into into cover here to let them all come a little bit closer. That way we're not standing in the open. A waste of stasis just to get control back on uh, their purifier. That's okay. Purifier wasn't the greatest uh, unit to begin with anyways. The melee units will die. Another pair of rockets. He's out of rockets now, so we need to kill it this turn. Suppression. That's a single move. Single move, yeah. I'm under fire. I think that was a double move. That's a double move. Okay, we position ourselves here and we can kill both of the Vipers. I think he's burning. If we position ourselves here, we can kill both of the Vipers. Problem uh, for us is going to be the... Problem of us uh, for us is going to be the Mac. Hmm. Zero percent chance to hit, hit this guy. Half cover isn't really the greatest position to be in to begin with. Hmm. Can only take the vipers. But I won't. So let's think it through. He will take his uh, blaster as uh, as shots for the next time. And his blaster deals probably 10 to 12 points of damage. So that's by far the worst. They have three points of damage. Okay, they have bind, which sucks as well. Um, but it's somewhat okay. We can't one shot them yet. That's a bit of a bummer. This guy here is nasty though. This is, this is really bad news. One way of dealing with it is to basically attack and let him take shots and basically parry his blaster. That's an option, but it, it requires him to actually take shots at us. You know what? It's a protocol ourselves to make uh, to make data a less attractive target, and we're going to do exactly that. Let's try to hit one of the vipers. Okay, it's at least in kill range. Moving over here. Luckily, we this guy missed, and I'm not crazy. I put I chose the position uh, quite uh, quite deliberately. So that's seven to eight points of damage. Cool. 
could we theoretically, yeah, we could even, okay. We could position ourselves here and try to kill both of them. Now yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Let's do it the safe way, how I wanted to do it initially. It's a 44% chance that we kill this, um, this guy. You know what? Let's do this. The reason why I'm doing it is that both of the Vipers will die anyways. We can kill both with Blade Storm. And killing an extra target, definitely worth it. I didn't want to stun it. It's actually not as good as it looks, because uh, it now doesn't move. And when it does move, that means we can't kill it. Mind control? No, Holy Warrior. Okay, so this guy is going to die anyways. The enemy chases my life. Suppression? Okay. Back in. Greetings. Please report any sightings of these civilians. The Viper is already burning, so there is no point in uh, there is no point in continuing this. Um yeah, two overwatch shots, that's actually... Phew, uneasy. I don't like it. Viper will die. Question that I'm asking myself is, we're nine rounds? We still have a couple of rounds left. If I just kill the Viper, I will get a gratis parry. And the third um, focus which will increase mobility and dodge even further. Mm. Let's think that through. I really want to kill the mech, but we can't get it down this turn. I don't want to charge in further, because running here means we run through whatever is back here, and that's going to suck. I don't want even more enemies. Getting greedy on the loot is maybe also the wrong time for it. The mutant is pretty much immune to our melee attacks, so might as well. Get the extra focus. And go for parry, as well as an overwatch, so if anyone moves closer, we get another shot off. Come on, hit. Uh, yeah, I didn't get it. That's a great position here. That's a not so great position. Hey, Storm. Come on, you want to take a shot into parry? Great, that's exactly what I was hoping for. You need to deal with the mutant. Mutant takes a shot and we reflect it. I love it. Good job, baby. The Templar cleans house. Really like it. We're running a bit out of time. All right, so. Templar. 
takes an eight protocol. Another 20 defense. Let's hit. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, we need to uh, take the mech down. Still the most dangerous enemy. Mind control? That's bad because it takes the reflect away. Or the parry. Suppression? Overwatch. Overwatch is okay as well. Okay, we know that he's going to take a shot. Can't really do much against uh, about it. I don't want to go... I really want to do it. Uh, I really don't want to do it, but... We are almost forced to go in. Luckily, we have a good dodge va uh, value at the moment. So this means the guy is going to die next turn. We're going to parry. Moving in further. And let's try to overwatch. What, what's the cover of the mutant? Mutant has full cover, so we're better off with an overwatch. And we are slowly moving the VIP. There's the blade storm. I hate sustenance. It's such a it's such a lame skill for our challenge here. It breaks Holy Warrior. I would have deserved the double kill. But no, instead it's sustenance. This guy forces the parry again. Ah, I'm getting a bit annoyed about uh, the two times sustenance. It's just incredibly unsatisfying. That was a reload from the Muton. Six more turns we need to get out of here. Alright, he's burning, which means he dies, and he takes a blade storm. finally. Is he trying to melee attack? No. And that's exactly why I didn't want to, <laughs> to trigger another pack. turns and that's super far away all right so
So, I suppose. We are using our... So after this turn, we have four more turns. And I'm just looking at the size of the map. And we need to run now. We're going to use our Templar as a distraction. I'm thinking about how we're going to do this, probably, probably, we're going to move up here, taking a shot, then going for the sector, and realizing we just pulled yet another pack. Mutants are the counterplay to a Templar. There's really not so much I can do against them. If he attacks me, then I can kill him. Positioning ourselves here would be probably the most appropriate idea. Because I get a free attack. The reaction, reaction attacks on the mutants are actually for uh, are actually not triggering their melee um, resistance. So this here, despite looking incredibly crazy, it's probably the best uh, one we can uh, go for. We have reflect as an option. We have a lot of dodge. So, let's make sure we're getting properly healed. So if they charge in, which I hope they will, we're going to get a couple of uh, nice little retaliation strikes and one uh, parry. So there is the blade storm. Some sort of damage. And the shot is being parried. Now the parry is gone. Next blade storm. It's going to be a melee attack. Luckily for us, a dodge. I like it. This guy could have. This guy could have taken a normal melee attack, but he did not. He instead chose to attack us. And there's another blade storm. We still have a good dodge value. Wow. Where can we climb this? All right, let's move in. So, one turn. Mm. We need to move at least once. Back to seven hit points. If we were to hit all of these guys would take a bolt, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Nice little chain reaction. This guy is going to die. Alright, three mutants down. That was foreseeable. Can't really do anything against it. Good to go. Run 
running, 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 running. And we at least freed the VIP. That's the good news. We need to get out of here. A S A P. I'll go quickly. Manchester is the more important uh, unit. I want to get him out of here. I think he pretty much carried that run. turn. Luckily for us, reload. I'm on the move. And we're out of here. Oh my gosh. I'm out of here. Wow. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. The fight against the mutants there. Incredibly lucky. We dodged and reflected. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. The victory today is a minor footnote in We need more hit points and more dodge, I can tell you. The way that I foresee that we can use the Templar later is definitely a, as a melee dodge machine. Yeah, another 24 days. I think he clearly pulled his weight here. I think I'm even watching this uh, video on YouTube afterwards because I want to see how crazy this fight was. Hello, Commander. Got ourselves 102 Intel, got ourselves an Engineer. Yes, yes, and yes. Thank you. All right. 12 more days for an infirmary, which we desperately would need. <laughs> that was so close. Unbelievable. But with it comes a lot of intel. And let's make contact and then proceed to healing everyone. Since we still don't have the infirmary and I'm deeply concerned that the uh, Sky Ranger, uh, the Avenger will be shot down. Chosen warlock is hard at work for his masters in this area. What's the European bonus? Tactical and oh, tactical analysis is really good. So there is a second option, which is not to heal, but go for tactical analysis. Five days. And another seven, which means that's probably not. Ah, we're going to heal. Avenger plotting new course. I want to make sure we have enough members to fight the actual Avenger infiltration. Staff recovered from wound. That's good. Which means, for the first time, in a long, long, long time, we can actually start excavating multiple uh, things. Wow, not bad. Look at that. We got seven engineers. 
Nice. I like it. Alright, that changes uh, the entire ball game. We need to... Nah, we need to get there. 160 intel. Let's get some supplies. Because we currently don't have another means of getting the Avatar project stopped. And I did really not think about that earlier. Alright. Time for our next radio station. Setting course for Sector 6, Eastern Europe. Good part about getting contact here is we would reduce the av uh, avatar project by three blips. Just got our school jack. At least that's a second option to get uh, to get something out of the avatar project. I think the hunter's X isn't bad. Spider suit is another uh, really good item. Let's start with the spider suit first. And we're going to get the hunter's axe next, plus uh, the shadow pistol. Almost there. Ooh, look at that. We got a very difficult sabotage of the transmitter. We got an engineer. And we definitely want to counter signal jamming. That's good. Recovery of items isn't bad. And we got a captain grenadier. Together with some loss. I like the loss side here. But I think we're going to go with this mission we are only five hours away from plasma rifles which i definitely would like to have before we go in avenger plotting new course market is open I think we don't have enough uh, corpses to pull this one off. Yeah, doesn't really look like it. I like the superior speed PCS, by the way. But I want to save our intel, although that's really a really really good one setting course for eastern europe we are i am just sure going for the rifle to be as intriguing as i do commander the aliens aren't going to be happy look at all of the upgrades So let's take a look. I think we can't afford to upgrade the weapons yet. No, not really. The normal plasma rifle, oh my gosh, really, really expensive. I like the beam auto pistol, but since, um, since our Templar is currently unavailable doesn't really matter the beam pistol isn't bad for our sniper but we're missing the Ilarium crystals as well 
Plasma rifle definitely is good. Anyways, we're going to go for the um, uh, for the Eastern European mission in our next video. <sighs> it had been a pretty pretty difficult run so far. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it just as much as I did, uh, give it a thumbs up and leave a nice little like uh, and comment down below. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye bye.